It's Mr. Squeegee again with another episode of Weather or Not for the summer. Uh, unfortunately, time kind of got away from us and it's kind of sli slid into the fall a little bit, but there's still a couple things that, that I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, that I thought were important. Uh, all through the year, really, uh, we always want to save ourselves time. The more time we save on a job, the more jobs we can get done in a day, the more work we can get done before it gets to the point where we really don't have anything or we have to slow time. So uh, for most of us, we realize that one of the biggest time savers that's come to the industry lately is water-fed poles and pure water systems. Uh, because of that, it's really saved exterior work. It cuts our time down drastically on the exterior, even on cut-ups. Uh, one of the things we really love to use our water-fed pole system on is cut-ups, uh, the true divided lights, the newer windows especially, just because of the enormous time savings. I've got to get up there on the ladder and squeegee every individual pane of glass. It saved us a whole lot of time on some of our really big jobs. Uh, to that end, there are a few things that you can do or implement in your business that are going to be uh, time savers and money makers. Uh, one of the things we used to use, I don't know if you can see it in the background, is a uh, DI tank that we got from WCR. And that's worked really well, but at our TDS uh, rates around here, in some places, I burn through that resin pretty quick. Uh, so to save myself uh, money over time and be easier on some of the jobs, because I have to take that sometimes out of the van, take it to the site, set it up there, and then take everything down, uh, we just invested in the R3 cart from Reach Higher Ground. Uh, and this is going to save us so much more time. It's going to be a much more valuable uh, asset. We're going to save money, too. Uh, over our resin regions uh, in time uh, because here at our house the TDS is like 550. Uh, it burns through resin really fast but with the uh, RO we're cutting that down to almost nothing that we have to polish the, the DI. So that's going to save us money there uh, as well as like I said time. I've got several jobs where I have to take the cart or pass the DI tank out, take it across the street, uh, run it from place to place, uh, but no more. Now we've got the cart, it's going to be much easier for us. Uh, one of the other things that we got recently, and you've seen some videos of me using it, is the backpack, backpack from our Reach Higher Ground. That has tremendously saved me time on my monthly accounts uh, because they're maintenance accounts. I can take my, my 28 foot uh, XL pole, my backpack, and as long as I've got uh, water to refill with, I can get those things done in a lot less time. In fact, uh, we work them together. Uh, uh, Mrs. Squeegee usually takes care of the bottoms while I take care of the top, uh, third floor and second floor windows on some of the houses. And what we found is that in some cases, I'm able to do second and third floor windows so quick with the backpack and the water fit pole that I get a couple couple houses ahead of her, uh, even with having to refill the backpack. Uh, and she's using standard methods on the first, first floor. So it's really sped us up. Where we were kind of finishing at the same time on these houses, I'm a house or two ahead now. So uh, that really helps. Uh, and the reason I use the backpack is because that's a neighborhood where I can't really drag hoses. These houses are, they have huge lawns, you're going all the way around some of these really big houses. I just, you'd have to have a thousand feet of hose to really drag and have a static system. Uh, so it just doesn't work there, but the backpack really does. But in order to be versatile, um, we can't really hook up the cart and fill up a bunch of jugs uh, every time. So we needed something that was kind of in between, something that met the, the versatility of moving the cart around and having a static system to refill the backpack. And so what I did is I found some rain barrels at a local uh, farm supply store and they come, as you can see, outfitted with a spigot already. Uh, so I have one of these in the van and it's uh, actually it's 220 liters and if you do the math that's about 58 gallons. Uh, so I can fill this up with 30 or 40 gallons of water, whatever I need, uh, to do the monthly houses for that day. And then I just took up a hose there, and when I depleted the backpack, I have a couple extra little jugs that I take with me, six gallon uh, jerry cans. I'll fill one of those up and take it with me with the backpack. And when that runs out, we just go fill those two things up and we're ready to go again. It doesn't take hardly any time at all. Uh, and again, I've got the water that I need purified and ready to go. Uh, one other thing that I want to take a minute to talk about as far as time savings and money savings is instead of having to polish my home water, uh, which is 600 even though I've got the car and that's going to make it cheaper, uh, what I've got is another tank like this that I'm setting up outside my garage 
uh, that I'll have the, the rain gutter going into. I'll have a little bit of a filter in there in the, in the gutter so that it takes all the debris out so that this that one of these tanks then will fill up with rainwater, which will have a TDS of probably somewhere around 30 or 45 at most. Uh, so then I can use the cart to polish that water down and fill up the tank in the van with. And so it'll be a lot more cost savings there. It's free water, it's rain, uh, and where we're at, we don't have to worry about drought restrictions or anything like that. So some guys not, might not be able to do that with drought restrictions, but here, uh, especially this year, we've had plenty of rain, so it really hasn't been been an issue. So those are just some of the things uh, that uh, we wanted to talk about today, ways to uh, save a little money in your business, to save a lot of time, and to really be uh, more beneficial for you. So hopefully you found this information uh, useful, and we hope to talk to you again real soon. So this has been another episode of Whether or Not. I'm your host, Mr. Squeegee, and on behalf of windowcleaningresource.com, I'd like to thank